Keep calm and pray the Psalms. For Saturday, the last day of Papula Zion, the last day of the second week of Advent. Tomorrow is a special day in the Advent season. Its name is Gaudate, rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice is the name of the day. Those of you who have Advent candles or Advent wreaths at home, this Sunday is the Sunday whose candle is a different color. In America, it's pink. I know throughout the world it's different, but here in America we have blue candles for three of the Sundays the first, second, and fourth Sundays of Advent, but this day is a pink candle day. Pink candle because we are begged to rejoice. We here at Trinity will have, well, what is a tradition with us, I guess, um, the children uh, lift up their voices and their actions for us. So like like the children of Jerusalem who on Palm Sunday uh, screamed Hosanna, our, our children will help us, help us call the Lord to his temple. In that service, we will be decorating the Christmas tree, which is off camera. You can't see it, but it's over there. Uh, we'll be decorating the Christmas tree with chrismons. More about that on Sunday. It is the order of uh, prayer and preaching. Uh, so you are invited to come. It's always a special day for us, Gaudate, where we rejoice in the Lord. 9 a.m. is when the service will begin. Know that you're invited. But for now, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. In the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Psalm 72. Give the king your justice, O God, and your righteousness to the royal son. May he judge your people with righteousness and your poor with justice. Let the mountains hear prosperity for the people and the hills in righteousness. May he defend the cause of the poor of the people. Give deliverance to the children of the needy and crush the oppressor. May they fear you while the sun endures and as long as the moon throughout all generations. May he be like rain that falls in the mown grass, like showers that water the earth. In his days may the righteous flourish and peace abound till the moon be no more. May he have dominion from sea to sea, from the river to the ends of the earth. May Desert tribes bow down before him, and his enemies lick the dust. May the kings of Tarshish and the coastlands render him tribute. May the kings of Sheba and Seba bring gifts. May all kings fall down before him, all nations serve him. For he delivers the needy when he calls the poor and him who has no helper. He has pity on the weak and the needy and saves the lives of the needy. From oppression and violence, he redeems their life. And precious is their blood in his sight. Long may he live. May gold of Sheba be given to him. May prayers be made for him, continually blessingly blessings invoked for him all the day. 
May there be abundance of grain in the land, on the tops of the mountains. May it wave. May its fruit be like Lebanon. And may people blossom in the tribes like grass on the field. May his name endure forever. His fame continue as long as the sun. May people be blessed to in him. All nations call him blessed. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who alone does wondrous things. Blessed be his glorious name forever. May the whole earth be filled with the glory. Amen and Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We speak the Catechism, the Ten Commandments. You shall have no other gods. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Honor your father and your mother. You shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife or his manservant or maidservant, his ox or donkey or anything that belongs to your neighbor. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. O Lord, keep us in your kingdom, teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Stir up your hearts, O Lord, to make ready the way of your only begotten Son, that by his coming we may be enabled to serve you with pure minds. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Luther's Evening Prayer. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day. And I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong, and graciously keep me this night. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Amen. Again, tomorrow, 9 a.m., children's um, Christmas pageant, I guess we're calling it. The decorating of the tree, the greening of the church, 
9 a.m., you're welcome to come receive God's gifts and help us sing his praises. You have a good night.